One of the most common questions that we have on Morton's on the Move is about how do you move an RV if you can't or are unwilling to do so? We get a lot of comments asking, how do I move my RV? So today, in this video, we're gonna share all about can you hire somebody to move your RV and how do you go about doing it? This video is sponsored by U-Ship, a company that we've used in the past to find shippers to move RVs twice. More on them in a little bit. Now there's a lot of reasons why you might need somebody to move an RV for you. One of the first reasons would be buying an RV out of state and you need the RV shipped to you. Uh, maybe you get sick in your travels and you need it to be moved back home. Or you just don't have a tow vehicle and you bring an RV to a spot and leave it there for a long period of time and then move it out. In one of our cases, we had sold our tow vehicle and wanted to have a fifth wheel back on our property. We didn't have a way to move it. So we had to hire somebody to move it for us. 1,700 miles. We recently also had a friend fall and break their wrist who normally drove their RV and their partner was not comfortable driving the RV themselves. So somebody actually had to fly to them and drive them back home. So in any situation like that, if you have an emergency, sometimes it's just nice to know that you can hire somebody to move your RV for you. Now RVs can be moved in a number of different ways. If it's a large fifth wheel, it's pretty much gonna have to be towed because it can't go on a trailer. So it's gonna need a big truck to tow it. If it's a smaller travel trailer, it might be able to fit on a flatbed and a larger trailer to put the trailer on. And you actually see this quite often going down the highways, lots of trailers, smaller trailers on a big semi-trailer. But a lot of times they can also be towed by a small pickup truck. Motorhomes can be a little bit of a challenge. Some smaller ones can actually go up on a flatbed and be moved uh, just like freight, but the real big ones, while they can be towed, it's much more of a challenge. So you might actually need to find a driver, particularly if it is in drivable condition. So lots of different ways and logistics need to be thought out when you actually want to move an RV. So how do you go about finding the right fit? And finding a shipping company isn't maybe as easy as you might think. Uh, if you Google search them, they might show up, uh, but you're not guaranteed to find somebody who's experienced with moving RVs. So you might find a more general shipper. Uh, a lot of people ship a lot of different things, you know, from furniture to uh, business stuff to inventory and, and other things. But, you know, for moving an RV, that's a pretty specific thing. Um, and they come in all shapes and sizes, so it can be hard to find somebody local to you to do the job. A lot of the RV shippers are also very small companies that work nationwide because they drive the, the whole country, right, to go get something. So how do you find one that'll actually <laughs> come to you or it will get there? That's the challenge that we ran across in the past. And that we get asked about a lot. And so the sponsor of this video, U-Ship, that's where we've turned to in the past. Now, U-Ship is a platform that has over 41,000 service providers. And these are shippers that ship all kinds of things. They're small companies, big companies. It's kind of a marketplace for posting jobs that people need something shipped from point A to point B and shippers that are constantly looking at their uh, routes and their availability and they bid on these jobs and that way you kind of get everybody in one place. Now the beauty of U-Ship is that it is available to everybody. It's not just a business platform, it is available to all of us and you get to actually put in a job, say move my RV from blank place to blank place and the shippers will bid on that job. So you get multiple bids for your particular job, which really helps you find the best price as well. And we can't tell you exactly what the price is gonna be because they vary enormously over time and what the fuel prices are. A bid now might be different than a bid in a month from now. So it's important to actually get those prices immediately for the job that you're looking for. And like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, we've actually experienced the U-Ship platform actually three or four times now in various ways. Our very first experience was way back when we started uh, RVing in 2015. 2014. And, and we sold 
our very very first fifth wheel and a guy in california actually bought it and we're he, in michigan and we were in michigan so he hired a u-ship guy to come and meet us and that's how we first learned of the program we were like wow this is actually pretty neat this guy showed up hitched up to the fifth wheel and took Probably off to with california. it and uh that really got us thinking like wow this really makes the whole nation a marketplace for finding RVs to buy or sell. Later, we actually sold one of our fifth wheel hitches and a guy who was full time on the road bought it because he was towing on a gooseneck ball, which is what we were switching to because he was hauling fifth wheels for U-Ship. So U-Ship isn't just a way to ship, but if you want, you can even get a commercial driver's license and drive yourself. It we can be like the Uber for moving <laughs> yeah. vehicles, right? All across the country. And we had actually considered pursuing that when we first hit the road, you know, as one of our potential options of making money on the road because we had this big tow truck. I'm sure you have, uh, you folks out there who have the big dually trucks that you're driving around, you're like, oh, I wish I could like really use this for other things. Well, that is one way to get more out of your investment in checking out if you wanna drive around the country delivering RVs for people. The third experience we had with U-Ship was actually moving our own fifth wheel. We decided to uh, try out Class A motorhome life for a while. So we sold our primary tow vehicle because we weren't gonna use it anymore, a big dually truck. But then we decided we wanted to keep the fifth wheel and put it up <laughs> on our property as like a second house kind of a thing. The problem was is that the property was in Northern Michigan and we were in Florida. The RV was in Florida and we couldn't tow it because we didn't have a tow vehicle, but we also needed to move our motor home up to Michigan at the same time. So how do you move two RVs, one that you don't have a tow vehicle, or all the way up to Michigan from Florida. It was back to U-Ship. We put bids in. We found a really great guy that we uh, worked with to uh, meet up with somebody to actually pick up the RV. We weren't even there. We were already up north. He picked it up. He provided tracking and- Gave us updates the whole way. And um, I think- A couple days later, yeah. it rolled into our driveway, 1,700 miles away. And it was an excellent experience. Yep. So how does this actually work? How do you place a bid and get quotes? Well, let's go to the computer because it will be much easier to show you. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to uship.com. And what's neat about this whole thing is that you can see both sides of the equation here on Uship. Up here at the top, you can see ship or find shipments. This is for a carrier, if you're a carrier, and that's a whole nother uh, thing we're not going to talk about. But if you wanted to become a carrier and offer your services for shipping, you can sign up on here and uh, find shipments as well. But you can also ship. And if we just go ahead and click on, this is how you would actually set up your shipment. Select vehicles, select recreational vehicle, and put in the information about your RV. Make, model, towable, is it drivable? Um, does it need to be on a flatbed? All the different information and then pick up delivery. All your information goes right in here. It's really simple. And that's how you'd actually put it out for bid. Now you will have to actually create an account and log in to do that. But before we even do that, you're probably wondering, okay, what's it actually gonna cost me to ship something? And that's where we can actually use the carrier side, the find shipments button to actually put in a pickup and delivery address on here. So let's just pick up uh, somewhere. We're just gonna assume we're gonna make a shipment, right? But we wanna know what it's gonna cost. So we're gonna ship an RV from Atlanta, Georgia to Grand Rapids, Michigan. So it's gonna give us approximate within hundred miles um, categories we need to select vehicles and boats, drop down to recreational vehicles. So you can look at what's available on U-Ship right now if you make the miles wide enough. So I just selected 500 miles both sides and you can get an idea of what the quotes going out right now are. You've got the RV, how far the trip is, details about it, and whether there's quotes and what the prices are over here and how long the listings have been up. This is helpful for just kind of getting a rough idea of what the prices are, but there is actually a shipping estimator 
that is a little hard to find, so I'll put the link in the description below, that you can use to look at past moves and get a an better idea of what it might actually cost you. Again, select vehicles, recreational vehicles, select um, the zip code. We can actually just put in the city. We're gonna do Atlanta, and we're gonna look up Grand Rapids, Michigan. Get free price estimate. Okay, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna go into the past data of what's actually shipped on your ship and give you a guesstimate of similar moves. So estimate for this about $1,300 to move an RV from Atlanta to Grand Rapids. And then there's actually gonna be information on the actual shipments. And all this information is available for you to look at. So it's really cool. Here's a 2017 travel trailer. So we're gonna look at that one. Um, and it's not exactly from Atlanta to Grand Rapids, but it's similar, similar in location. We can look at it here and then we can actually look at what does it, what did it look about it? It was towable only, what its weight was. So if you have a 12,000 pound RV, this isn't really that relevant, but then you can come down and actually look at the questions, which is always cool to see what the communications look like and what it's gonna look like for you to do something similar. As you can see here, there isn't any class A shipments. So if that's what you're looking to ship, that might be a little bit different, but you can actually list your shipment and go ahead and put bids out there and you're gonna get real shippers giving you real quotes on what it will take to actually move your product, which is so cool and it's so incredibly simple. Now there is a relatively short window for these actual bids to be open. And the reason for that is both because the prices change so rapidly, but also for the drivers, because the drivers a lot of times are traveling across the country and they could pick up your load to maybe go back towards their home or go to the next the next job, if you will. So those bids, and you might, and you might have somebody make a bid and then pull it relatively quickly too. That's happened to us m multiple times because that shipper realized, like, oh, you know, my plans changed and it's not going to work out. So it really is this like marketplace of, you know, I have something I need shipped and I can line it up with, you know, so and so. Whether they're local or not, it doesn't really matter. It's a nationwide service. So it is a little easier to find somebody who is willing and able to move a trailer or a fifth wheel just because there are more people out there with their own tow vehicle who have the hitch and have the setup ready to go. Finding somebody to drive a large drivable like class A or something like that may be a little bit more tricky. So drivers or drive away service is available on UShip and there are drivers on there but Usually you don't get quite as few many bids because the logistics are a little bit more challenging. Uh, they don't have their own vehicle, if you will. But there are drivers out there with, with Class A or uh, different licenses, depending on what you need moved to drive your load for you. So don't let that turn you away from putting a bid up if you have a 45 foot, 50,000 pound motorhome. You can still find somebody to do that as well. Okay, so UShip is fantastic, but it is just a marketplace. It's not actually a shipper. And what this means is that you can get all kinds of different uh, shippers on there. So it is still important to do your due diligence when setting up a, a shipper. You need to protect yourself. Yes, we recommend, you know, checking out the shipper. Everybody who give, uh, sends in a bid, you know, if it comes in, really really low or something definitely check it out because uh what we recommend is finding and, and verifying that the shipper has a mc number a motor carrier number and is licensed through uh the us dot um these are things that you ship recommends that you check out as well and they provide a lot of information on the website to go to the FMSA, <laughs> Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. You can look up and verify your uh, shipper's motor carrier number and make sure that they are who they say they are and that they are certified and, um, and licensed what they say they are. And that's what we would recommend doing. Luckily, UShip is also, uh, I guess what you'd call an escrow service. When you pay for the shipment, they hold the money and you don't release the funds until you get your shipment at the end. So at least there's that. You're not gonna just like lose your money, but you also wanna protect your asset. And I definitely recommend putting a tracker 
in or on your RV. Uh, something as simple as an air tag does work. It's not going to give you super high accuracy because that relies on iPhones um, to actually get a ping off of. Uh, GPS trackers is a great way to do it. Then you can really watch your RV move across the road. And that's how we've done it in the past when we've moved our RVs or had someone else move our RV. We've been able to watch it via GPS trackers. Great option. And it's not just, you know, it's, it's not necessarily that you don't have trust in that shipper. That shipper should be a professional and um, be able to handle themselves. But if somebody with malicious intent sees that there's an RV being shipped, they may assume that it's not being as supervised. It may... Uh, you know, it doesn't have anybody in it, uh, so they might go try the locks, try the door, um, or something like that. So make sure all of your locks are locked, all your bays are locked, um, and get it prepared for uh, transport as you would, you know, on moving day, and then one extra layer of security there. Now, when we've used the transporters in the past, they've actually provided us with tracking and a lot of updates. And a lot of times when it's over a longer distance, it's a multi-day shipment. Um, I think when we shipped our last RV 1,700 miles, he actually did it in like four days, which I thought was pretty fast, actually. But, um, you know, it's on the road for quite a while. And getting those updates is, is really great. And then also, you know, looking at the reviews. Like, I left a good review for this guy, and that really helps out the next uh the next person down down the way who's going to be using that shipper so that's why we really recommend you ship um they're not the shipper themselves but they just make it so much easier to connect with other shippers and find somebody more easily and reliably with reviews and all of these safety things as well to just make this process a lot easier and competitive pricing is also a great thing um, it allows shippers who know they're going to be passing through the area to offer maybe a more competitive rate and for you as the person receiving the service to get a better deal. So it's a really win-win situation. So that's how we recommend you move an RV. We've done it multiple times ourselves and it's worked very well. Just be careful, do your due diligence, and it should work out really well. We have a couple of detailed articles over on our website if you want to use those as reference or dive a little bit deeper. We share all kinds of information about RVing and the RV lifestyle over on our website. We'd love to have you subscribe over there and here on YouTube. Until next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road. Bye. You helping, Solar? Oh, you can't be here. I'm sorry. Since this is how you use ship. I'm sorry, buddy. You're gonna be there. <laughs> All right, then we'll just roll with this. <laughs>